Hey everybody, I'm John Swantek. Welcome to Direct Connect, where you guys, the fans, get to ask the questions and connect directly with PGA Tour players through Facebook, Twitter, PGATour.com. Our guest this week is a four-time PGA Tour champion. He's also one of the four golf boys, the band that uh, created the internet sensation in the golf world. We say hello to Ben Crane, who joins us from the Media Center at TPC Louisiana, side of this week's Zurich Classic of New Orleans. How are you, Ben? How are things down in the bayou this week? Great, John. Thanks. Yeah, it's uh, beautiful down here. We're uh, all set for a great week uh, representing you know Zurich's 100-year anniversary of uh, being here in North America. So it's a pretty cool week. Yeah, that should be a lot of fun. We'll jump right in. A lot of questions uh, from your fans as you look to improve on a tie for 20th at last year's Zurich Classic. First question from Chandler Bocher. It comes through the tour report. With Zurich as a personal sponsor, are you nervous or excited for playing this week? And what is your Sunday morning ritual? Probably to play in the last group on Sunday, I would think, right, Ben? Yeah, uh, definitely. You always want to be teeing off late on Sunday, be the last group. Uh, that way you always have the last say and you kind of know what you have to do. There's more that goes on with this week uh, because I am sponsored by Zurich, but it's, uh, they're all my friends and we just have a great time. So it means my wife and I uh, haul out our legs before we come and have great dinners and just uh, enjoy the heck out of the atmosphere. And uh, Zurich does an unbelievable job of just uh, hospitality, uh, great Southern hospitality here at the Zurich Classic. Ben and his wife, Heather, uh, busy parents. They're in the trenches these days uh, in their home in Westlake, Texas, outside of Dallas with three under the age of five, but still very involved in the uh, Westlake community. Our next question, Ben, comes from one of your fans, Steve, through the tour report. It says, Ben, I know you and your wife, Heather, are very involved in charities. Can you tell us about your favorite charities? Yeah, my wife is on the board of an organization called Love 146, and they rescue and set up aftercare for kids who have been trafficked um, in America and Southeast Asia and the world. So it's really something that we're very passionate about. It's one of the two charities that we support through our golf tournament that we have out in La Quinta each year. We also um, are very passionate about an organization called Hope Farm, which is in Dallas and Fort Worth. And it's a charity where they um, set up an after-school program for fatherless boys whose fathers are um, either in jail or just out of the picture in any way and it's just a mentorship program based on the principles of uh, walking with Christ. So uh, those are two organizations that we just absolutely love and uh, spend a lot of time trying to um, get people to just you know, create some awareness so that they become passionate about it as well. That's wonderful. Ben Crane, our guest, uh, joining us from this week's Zero Classic of New Orleans. First appearance for Ben, by the way, since a tie for 17th at the Masters when his good friend Bubba Watson captured the green jacket. Our next question comes through Facebook from one of Ben's fans, Tommy Cardle. says, you were on the final green with Ricky Fowler and some others to congratulate Bubba after his playoff victory. It's great to see you guys stick by each other to celebrate each other's success. How did you all become so close? Well, I think we all have something in common, and that is our faith. And Aaron Badley and myself and Ricky and, and Bubba um, are all regulars at the Tour Fellowship. We, uh, we believe the Bible is true, and when you know the person of Jesus, it just brings you closer together. And so that's something that we all just are very passionate about. We've rented a lot of houses together, just try to spend time together each, each week and just uh, have a lot of fun. So it's, uh, it's so cool to be able to share tournaments like that, especially the Masters. Uh, Ricky and I and Aaron were just going, oh my gosh, Bubba <laughs> could win the Masters. And uh, we were just so thrilled. And, um, and so uh, if uh, we were winning, we know Bubba would have been right there. And it's just a, it's just a really uh, so fun to share it with your friends and family like that. Yeah, I'm sure Bubba would uh, love to return the favor uh, someday when you guys are in contention to win your first major championship. Ben Crane, along with uh, Bubba Watson, Ricky Fowler, and uh, Hunter Mahan, of course, Make up the golf boys. And the questions were coming in bunches, Ben. We'll get to a couple here. Here's one from Eli through the tour report who says, uh, hello, Ben. Was just wondering if the golf boys were going to make another video. You know, Bubba could wear the overalls and the green jacket, he says, and everyone could ride in the general league. I'm sure the folks at Augusta would love that, huh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, are we going to make another golf boys? Uh, I sure hope so. Uh, do we have anything done yet? No, we don't. But um, I got a tweet yesterday from someone who said, Hey Ben, um, we want another golf boys, sincerely everyone. And uh, that includes us, uh, but we all have busy schedules. Uh, we just gotta find the time to, to do it and uh, put it together. So um, it's hard, you know, when your first you know, single is a hit, you know, we uh, feel a little pressure to come back and uh, deliver the goods. So I, I imagine we'd like to get something done maybe this year and, and uh, who knows, uh, like to keep it going. 
That'd be cool. All four of the golf boys, of course, uh, very entertaining. But uh, Cam Kenny, one of Ben's fans through Facebook, wants to know who you think is the funniest guy on tour. How about it, Ben? You know, there's a lot of funny guys on tour. Uh, the guy that comes to mind right off the top of my head is Rocco Mediate. Uh, that is one funny individual. Um, <laughs> he is uh, always entertaining to play with. There's a number of guys with, with good sense of humor. Uh, one that you might not know is Stuart Sink. He has an unbelievable sense of humor, self-deprecating, but one of the funniest guys. I mean, I always laugh whenever I'm around him. So. Uh, just a uh, great sense of humor uh, yeah. for Stuart as well. And Stuart is very involved in social media. He's a tweet machine, one of the uh, first to generate a Twitter account and has uh, hundreds of thousands of followers. Let's sneak one more in for uh, Ben Crane before we split. Here it comes uh, through Facebook from Lawrence Kai. He says, uh, how can you pursue a golf career and still have time to get those dance moves like you do in the Golf Boy video? That's a lot of work, Ben. Yeah, uh, so we perform our dance uh, practices uh, in the golf studio uh, very routinely. Uh, my daughter, my five-year-old daughter and I get up and we, uh, we just let it go with uh, whatever music she likes. So we do a lot of Hannah Montana and uh, stuff like that and we just let her go. And, and uh, you know, there's really not a lot of people judging us up there. So I think uh, it's just natural to carry it out into the real world and you just go, you know what? I don't really care what people think, and uh, I'm not a very good dancer, but I have a lot of fun doing it. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good time, and the kids uh, the kids love to move around. He has danced all over the world, including in the streets of Malaysia. Ben Cran, the winner of the uh, CIMB Asia Pacific Classic <laughs> in Malaysia in 2010. Looking for a victory dance down in the bayou this week in New Orleans. Ben, good yes, luck at the Zura Classic, and thanks for connecting with us. All right, thanks, John. Take care. See you guys.